Today I will discuss about convergence and overview and I am going to cover these following topics. What is convergence? Simply converging of both eyes towards each other is called convergence of eyes. Now the question is why do we need convergence of eyes? To see an object with depth perception that is 3D vision corresponding points or phobia of both retina needs to be stimulated which is maintained by convergence of eyes at any distance. Here in this figure you can see when eyes are focusing at distance object at infinity they are looking straight and phobia of the both eyes getting stimulated. Now when eyes are focusing at near object still phobia of both eyes are getting stimulated. How it's possible? Because both eyes moving towards each other so that phobia of both eyes can get stimulated which was done by convergence. Convergence is disjugate movement because right eye moves towards the left and left eye moves towards the right. It allows biphobial single vision. As we have already seen when we are focusing at distance phobia of both eyes getting stimulated and even if we focusing at near phobia of the both eyes are getting stimulated which was maintained by convergence. Convergence remains same throughout the life. Convergence may be slightly get reduced or increased but almost it get same throughout the life. Remember this point convergence remains same throughout the life and accommodation get reduced with the age. That's why at the age of 40 years we need to give presbyopic power or plus power so that we can see the near object. And even if convergence get reduced we can improve it by exercises. Lots of convergence insufficiency exercises are there through which we can improve amplitude of convergence. Symmetrical versus asymmetrical convergence Symmetrical convergence when the fixated object is situated in the sagittal or medial plane of head, both eyes have to converge equally, thus this condition is called symmetrical convergence. Here in this figure you can see this is the sagittal or medial plane of head and object is situated in this medial. So our both eyes need to convergence equal amount so that phobia of the both eyes get stimulated and the distance is same from both eyes here from here to here distance for left eye and distance for right eye will be same and the angle formed between the line of sight and the center of rotation of both eyes here this is the joining line of center of rotation of both eyes and this is the line of sight so this angle this angle will be same for both eyes in symmetrical convergence. Now asymmetrical convergence. When fixated object is situated away from the sagittal or medial plane of head, the distance will be different from both eyes and also amount of convergence will be different. Thus this condition is called asymmetrical convergence. Here in this figure you can see here will be the sagittal or medial plane of head but the object is situated away from the medial plane and the distance between left eye and the object is more as compared to distance between the object and right eye and the angle between the line of sight and center of rotation of both eyes will be also different. Here for the left eye the angle between the line of sight and center of rotation is less and here for the right eye it's almost 90 degree. Types of convergence. Convergence can be voluntary and reflex. Voluntary convergence. Voluntary convergence of eyes can be done at will. If we want, we can stimulate the voluntary convergence. It is not a part of normal convergence movement. Not everyone is capable of doing or learning this. Reflex convergence. It is the convergence of eyes which is not under complete voluntary control. Reflex convergence has four components, tonic convergence, fusional convergence, accommodative convergence and proximal convergence. 
In the upcoming slide, we will see details about these four types of reflex convergence.